Have a blessed day brethren, welcome to the Temple Mount Church of All Nations in Kampala Uganda, built by the people and for the people, known as Kakanda Ministries headed by Prophet Samuel Kakandi. Come, visit Kakanda Ministries, let Prophet Kakanda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakanda Ministries are free. Brother Taban from America, he cannot work without support with difficulty in squatting due to pain in the back for three months. He got a fracture of the femur. He's walking without the crutch, with a smile on his face. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My name is Monica Kau. I am come from Australia. I am sick 21 years. We are sickness. My bag is a crisis and my shoulder and two legs and blood pressure and sugar. This is my medical report from my family doctor. Here on the screen is this medical report from Tanait Family Medical and Dental Care that's in Australia. It's a medical report for Mrs. Monica Kao. This is where her doctor examined her and he's writing to inform us that this lady suffers from hypertension, chronic lower back pain, and also pain in the left shoulder with also gastroesophageal reflux disease and diabetes. This is being confirmed by Dr. Abdul Mansour. In this other medical report still, it's a medical certificate from Centrelink from the Australian government, Department of Human Services, medical report for Lady Kao Moneka. This is where they examined her and her conditions are being registered here. She was diagnosed with lumbar radiculopathy and also facet joint arthropathy together with pain in the left shoulder. You can see that she wears a corset and also she wears these ankle braces for support because for 11 years, she has got so much pain in the lower back, pain in the ankle joints. Jesus Christ is the healer. Right now, the man of God is praying for her in Jesus' mighty name to be healed. The power of the Lord Jesus Christ is here to flush out all this pain in her back for which she wears the lumbar corset, the pain in the ankles for which she wears these ankle braces. Behold how she's being driven towards her healing in Jesus' powerful name. This is what Jesus Christ came for and died on the cross at Calvary. Be healed in Jesus' holy name. Jesus. Rise up and go, you're free. She has been declared free in Jesus' mighty name. This is her day of salvation. Whatever infirmity is gone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I love you, Jesus. Now the lava corset has been taken off. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, okay, you're free. Glory be to God. Lady Catherine from Kenya. She has difficulty in rising up and walking for six years due to pain in the hip joints and knees. Right now, the man of God is in prayer for her, flushing out all the pain in her legs, in her body. Rise up and go, you're free. Thank you, Jesus. The lady is rising up in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Whoa. She's checking herself. Yes, Asante. Asante, Mungu, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I've suffered for long. Brother Lazaro from Kenya has difficulty in bending and walking and lifting the right arm for six months due to weakness in the left arm and has a nerve disease. Prayer is going on for him to be strengthened, to receive his healing. That's a point where you're free. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. 
brother Geoffrey from Kenya has difficult in walking due to pain in the left knee joint resulting from a torn ligament. He has a stitch wound on the right foot due to an accident. Right now he's walking. No more pain. I am healed. I am healed. Up next is the blessed prayer meeting that the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, had with the international visitors. Be blessed as you join. Good morning. Today we are going just to discuss faith. What is faith? The three things make up or build up faith. Trust, expectation, and hope. These things should be developed and then they make up faith. You must trust that one in whom you have believed, expecting that he will do what he has told you. I'm reading Mark 11, verse 22, 23, 24, 25. So Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God, for assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore, I say to you, Whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive your trespasses. God is so much interested To those who want to know him, those who are interested in his projects, those who desire to go with him, walk with him so that he can give them victory that they may experience what God is experiencing how many are interested to climb mountains. This is the biggest problem. Whenever a mountain stands your way, you're asking whether God loves you or not. Yet, on the other hand, he is interested to win with you. Enjoy victory with you. In a mountain you find, God doesn't love me. This time, I'm finished. Why is it that you this time you're finished? And in the womb of your mom, when you didn't know even how to pray, you were not finished. <laughs> he made a way in the womb of your mom that you could drink, breathe, play, kick. The moment the situation for victory arises, you are discouraged. You know, to be discouraged,
This is the courage. Yes? To discourage, remove this, and move on with this. Remember, this is the carrier where you're going to carry A, B, C, D, F, G. Once it is removed, the only head move. You cannot put your luggage, you cannot carry anything. I'm discouraged. They have removed what you use to carry. Any discouraged man has no carrier to carry strength, victory. He's so bad at because he has been discouraged. So the work of the enemy always is to remove your courage. Whenever you say the name Jesus, meaning in the power of God, don't just say in the name Jesus. No, 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 there is no name Jesus. The name Jesus means the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. See what happens to the brother the moment the man of God mentions the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He's not the same on, it. on the floor, he goes. Come on! The out! He's being delivered. Lose your grip. Thank you, Jesus. Come, visit Kakonda Ministries. Let Prophet Kakonda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God. Healing and deliverance at the Kakonda Ministries are free.